You it is, get your it's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're gonna be talking about which pink diamond free bracket buster takeover card you guys should be choosing for your my team squad today. Now, before I dive into it, guys, if you are looking for a video on the Phenom set, guys, I did upload that today as well. So make sure to go check that out. But recently, we have seen some really solid Bracket Busters cards, right? We saw, you know, Reggie Williams, Ed Pickney, both cards were incredible. Justin Jackson, absolutely elite. Ryan Archie Diacono, like, we've seen some really, really, really good Bracket Busters cards. So I'm hoping today just continues the trend. Again, I'm not asking for these cards to be the best at their respective positions, but they need to at least be able to compete at their positions. If you're new to the channel, man, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We're on the road towards 120,000 subscribers. Steve Blake up first, six foot three, six six wingspan, hot spots from everywhere outside that three point line. 44 base badges, 11 on Hall of Fame, 94 three ball can barely dunk. Ball handle is fine. My whole thing for Steve Blake is this: stock the base on quick. Ooh, MJ Drew style normal leaner. Okay, here's my thing. If you're going to be a 6'3 point guard in my team, you've got to have better sigs than Steve Blake has. I mean, are you kidding me? The John Stockton base on quick pro size up. I mean, what are we really doing here? I mean, it, it is nearly April and I, I wish it was April 1st so I could say this was April Fool's. But Steve Blake is not good. Like, I, I'll be I'll be honest with you and I'll tell you when a, a, a card is not good, even though I love the Bracket Buster set, I'll still be honest with you. If a card's not good, I'm going to tell you, Steve Blake is not good. And the sad part is I'm still waiting for us to get a good bracket or a good point guard out of this Bracket Busters event because that's the position a lot of people are needing. Steve Blake is just not going to be the answer to that question. Um, and, and, and it's kind of sad because I, I, I was hoping he could. But even if you compare him to like Archie Diacono, who we got a couple of days ago, Archie Diacono to me is the better option, right? I mean, he has very quick, I don't know what it's like, MJ dribble style, Curry size, but like, he is objectively better than this Steve Blake is that we got today. And so that's kind of the, the hard part for me. Jared Jeffries, our other card here, 6'11", can play the three, seven foot wings, spin out spots from four to five place around the arc. Start with the animations, Kobe base on quick. Okay, that's fine, right? That's fine. Normal leaner, MJ dribble style. Okay. Tendency wise is fine. 93 ball, decent driving, but can handle the ball. 88 speed acceleration, decent defensively. I have no problems with Jared Jeffries at all. And honestly, I think this card is absolutely elite. I mean, he comes with unpluckable, comes with every badge you need. You don't have to apply anything to him. Now, how does he compare to Ed? That's the big problem. And he just, Ed's going to be the better card. That, that's what you guys need to know. Now, does that mean Jared Jeffries is bad? No, because you can run them both, I mean, for free. If you get both of them for free, you can run them for free. And I mean, I, that's what I would do. Like, if you're running Jonathan Isaac, if you're running Rudy, sell them and pick up Jared Jeffries. I mean, honestly, again, he's got the Kobe base on quick. He's going to be able to hold it down for you guys because defensively, he's absolutely elite and he's 6'11". He's got everything you need. This card is going to go under the radar. I just know it because obviously he came out on Friday and the Friday drop. But he doesn't lack everything. He's got every badge he needs. He's got a good release. He's 6'11", 7 foot wingspan. And again, I'm not trying to hype up these cards as the best cards in the game because they're not. But if I can run a free takeover reward that's an easy grind, why would I not, right? Especially on my nobody spin. Now, obviously, if you've got, I'm just going to throw out some names. If you've got like a 40 half Rudy, he's not going to be as good as that. If you've got, you know, uh, if you've got Purvis, then run Purvis over Jared Jeffries. But what I, like, he's never going to be as good as Purvis, okay? It's, it's just that simple. But what I'm saying is, Jared Jeffries can hold it down with the no money spent type of cards, right? He's probably in that 10 to 20 range at that small four position. But again, he's free. So as long as he is free, that is what I would recommend him, you know, why I would recommend him for you. And even compare him, I'm just going to throw out a name, to, to, to Bon Carroll, right? Bon Carroll, obviously is going to be the better option as long as Boncaro's release is solid which I think it will be Boncaro is the better option but is it by that much it's a matter of opinion I don't think it's by much okay and so that's my whole thing instead of spending MT on a guy like Boncaro man just pick up pick, as long as there's a decent guy that you can play with it's what I'd recommend like if you look at some of the recent cards we got Muhammad is okay but then we saw Villanueva. Then we saw Ed. Then we saw Justin. Where we saw Justin Jackson. Then we saw Jared Jeffries. Like the Bracket Busters cards that we have gotten this week, I've been a pretty big fan of. 
And so what I'm honestly hoping for is I'm I'm hoping that this continues for the future, right? I'm hoping next week we see Galaxy Opal cards that are all decent at their uh, at their specific positions, right? Uh, you know, Galaxy Opals, I'm not saying they've got to be top five at their positions, but that all can at least hold it down if you are no money spent. Because that's the thing. If you wanted to, okay, you could, and the point guard position is kind of the outlier. But if you wanted to, your shooting guard could be Justin Jackson. Justin Jackson. Your small forward could be Pickney. Your your your, your power forward could be Jeffries. Your center could be Charlie Venezuela. And then even with your bench unit, you know you could have uh, Willie Cauley Stein, who is decent. You could have plenty of other options. You could put Nazir Muhammad in there at the four. Like we have gotten some solid, solid, solid options. And, and, and that's something that I I can't take away from 2K, right? I I'll, I'll bash 2K when they're wrong. But the, the options that they've given us this week, I mean, I've personally been a pretty big fan of. Obviously, if you have the best team in the game, you're probably not going to be one that gets super excited about this. But you guys got to realize, like this Charlie Villanueva can play for a lot of different teams in a lot of different situations. Same thing with Justin Jackson, who is absolutely incredible. Uh, and, and honestly, he still plays for my nobody spent. Same thing for Pickney. Same thing, obviously, for Jared Jeffries. So... Again, that's something I'd probably recommend for you guys. Again, do what you guys got to do. But at the end of the day, if you can save MT and tactically downgrade, I'm going to use DBJ's terminology, tactically downgrade, then do it. Because honestly, let's compare the cards. Jonathan Isaac's going to be better than Jared Jeffries. I'm not trying to sit here and debate that. But is he that much better? I'll leave that up to you guys. I'm just saying I take the free option every single day of the week, especially because he's got that Kobe release which I know a lot of people do enjoy using. So again, I'm hoping eventually we get a point guard. Hopefully, you know, next week we get a decent Galaxy Opal point guard that can hold it down, right? That's all I'm not asking for, the, again, the best point guards in the game. I'm just asking for a point guard that we can get that is a lot better than a guy like Steve Blake. Because Steve Blake, I mean, I'm fine with him, but let's be honest with ourselves. Is this guy going to play at any of the highest levels? He's just not. And again, I'm not trying to sit here and, and, and this isn't a... This isn't a Steve Blake slander session, so I hope you guys understand and know that. I'm just saying he's 6'3", doesn't come with the best release. Like, what is Steve Blake really doing for me or for us? That, that That's kind of what I'm trying to get at here. And that's why I'm hoping next week we do get a solid enough point guard in this Bracket Busters event. But all in all, guys, I mean, it's pretty simple. Jeffries is the right option for you guys. If you want to pick up Steve Blake again, do what you've got to do, but I just, I really don't see why you would in NBA 2K23, my team. If you are looking for the Phenoms uh, set, again, I did upload a video on that. Make sure to go check it out. Love you guys, man. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. Hopefully, each and every day has a very blessed day.